It is 550 right now and America's mail carriers and Harvest Hope Food Bank here in the Carolinas are teaming up to stamp out hunger. And it's easy. Just leave some food by your mailbox. Christine Scarpelli live in Greenville to tell you why you should leave food by your mailbox. Yeah. Hey, Christine. Does this sound pretty doable to you guys? I yeah. think so. Something right? Just a bag of food? Leave it by the mail. If you go get the mail, maybe you're dropping off a letter, do it at the post office as well. The postal carriers, they're looking for food donations now because during summer, hunger really goes up. Statistics show a lot of the kids that are out of school aren't getting those those meals like they do when they're in school. So we are now talking to Tanya with Harvest Hope. That's where the donations will go here in Greenville. Harvest Hope, uh, non-perishable food items like we got some pasta here, crackers and tuna. Tanya, very cool. These are just some examples. You've got some numbers for us that really may make a big impact, right? Yes, Christine. Thank you. Um, so in Greenville County, there is a great need. About 16% of families are living below the poverty level. 16 in just Greenville. In Greenville, okay. and so that means for a family of four that they have less than $3,000 monthly for income and are oftentimes having to choose between paying the utility bill, our car repair, or for groceries. Um, one in 10 people in Greenville are missing meals, meaning they might not be certain where lunch or dinner is coming from. And in our nation, we really have the means to do better. We have the means to stop hunger. We waste 40% of food that is made in our nation. And with that much food being wasted, there's nobody that should be going without. My gosh, you think one in 10 people, you look around the office this morning, you know, I mean, there are people there that you may not even know about. So a great way to do that, of course, donating food this weekend, right? This particular food, we've got a couple like this, but money sounds like another great way. Listen, if this is just not something that you're going to take time to do this weekend, on Saturday is the day that they're looking to do it. Money is also a great way. What's the best form of money? By sending checks to our location at 2818 Whitehorse Road. Okay, so in Greenville, that way that means it comes straight to this warehouse, right? Yes, or even just stopping by and meeting us and checking out our work. Okay, so Tanya, uh, hinting at volunteering, right? Yeah. That's kind of a helpful thing. Yeah, um, yeah, we have all types of ways for anybody to get involved, families, individuals, groups, business groups, mm -hmm. um, very flexible shifts in all different ways, whether it's working indirectly with the public by helping us sort and process these food goods or working directly by serving people in the busiest pantry in the state right here in Greenville. I love it. Okay, Fred Sabila, we're challenging you to a bag each. <laughs> what do you say? I can do it. Can you do I got it? this. What you're holding in your hand <laughs> when I buy it at the grocery store, I think that's a dollar sixty nine. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. That's that's three pretty good. Are you on the prices right right now? Uh, <laughs> I'm done. Exactly I'm, I'm, I think I could compete on it. <laughs> I you know, know. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> I you challenge the you this are morning. It's about two forty nine. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. All right. All right. The prices yeah. this is pretty incredible. It's good for us. Yeah. We'll call Drew Carey. Wake him up right <laughs> yeah, now. Sounds good. Well, we will sounds definitely good. have those bags. So we'll put them right there by the mailbox. Thanks, Christine.